moment, though, Pete. Yes, it's, the clouds are very as, high. Not as bad as it was this morning. Carlton runner already going out. The first bounce, Carlton and Essendon. From the MCG, Essendon going left in the first quarter. Madden up high. Oh, collision between two Carlton teammates down there. Clappe comes out with the football. Past Wanganeen. Kicks to half forward. Punch away by Simons. Ola Renshaw. A little flick out to Simons. And the Bombers will go forward. Michael Long takes it from Grenville. Still they come. This is Hills. Cockatoo Collins the target. Very nearly took the mark. Great effort to take that grab in front of Ange Christo and it's out of bounds, almost in Essendon's right forward pocket pretty hard to pick a wind advantage a northwesterly at the moment so probably favouring the end to which Essendon is going, although of course it does swirl here at the MCG, Dean Dean kicks up towards halfback, Essendon with the numbers and that'll be a free kick yes, free kick, no doubt about that one to Michael Long and there's a huge Essendon contingent here today, the short pass is on, oh look at this no one picking him up. Paul Salmon, not a Carlton player within 40 metres of yeah, him. Sexton got caught in a congested area, Pete, trying to get hold of him. The Essendon players almost blocked him off, which is intelligent play. Then he slipped and didn't have a chance to pick up Salmon. So well done by Essendon. They created that space. A good start for uh, Salmon too, Pete, to get away with the goal early. So Paul Salmon from 45 metres. Or ran very close to the man on the mark. Drifts it slightly to the right. And he's only kicked a behind. Steve Sozani is picking up James Hurd with Peter Dean picking up the taller Somerville. Well, that's good coaching by, by Parkin because Hurd's a very vital player, as you said, Ross, before the game. Here's Silvani. Oh, an ordinary kick to the half back line. Very dangerous kick. Here's Hurd. Strong tackle was by Whitehead. Here's Denham. He loses the ball in the tackle. They pounce in on top of it. Fraser Brown almost threw that one out. The umpire sensibly is going to bounce it. I thought it should have been a free kick to Fraser Brown anyway. Hurd jumped into his back. A bounce just outside 50. Madden, Hurd. Ball spills free. Ola Renshaw. A little quick gift to Hills. Then he had his head taken off. Cockatoo Collins. Has got it, but the free is going the bombers' way. Yes, and Paul Hill's playing his first game for the season. Only playing 1894 as well, so he's had a pretty lean time getting to the seniors, and that was the free kick there. He's already had one kick today. We saw the Essendon reserves. It looked like a senior team, the Essendon reserves. A lot of players. It unbelievable. It just goes to show their depth, but of course we only have depth when you don't have injuries. And they the won bombers. easily, by the way. They did. The sun comes out. Shining on hills as he goes at goal and kicks the first one of the match. So the Bombers, we believe, with the breeze, 1 1, Carlton yet to score. Yes, and his teammates coming across to congratulate him too. He's opened up pretty well, Paul Hills. Be very keen to do well, as I mentioned, just his first run for the season. He's already matched his goal kicking tally from last year with that one. Well done, Paul Hills. So there's Shea uh, Cockatoo Collins. Might be a bit of blood around the nose area there. We'll keep an eye on him as we go back to the centre. Good start for the Bombers. Madden and Somerville. Oh, Madden actually hooked that one down with the left hand. Oh, mm. long went in with the boot there. It was a little bit dangerous. But uh, luckily it didn't connect. The player getting up from the bottom of the pack is Camparelli. Scott Camparelli, very quick player. Being picked up by Ricky Olerenshaw. So, again, this is Somerville and Madden. Madden tapped it with that uh, extra reach he's got. Now, this is Ratton towards the half-forward area. They fly. It's knocked away from Cook. Here's the dangerous Bradley. Close to the boundary line. Oh, clever play by Bradley as he propped and then he found Bond. Good shepherd too, Pete, to assist uh, from Gleeson just to give Bradley some time and space. Gary O'Donnell picking up the dangerous Bradley. See this again. Just see... Gleeson just gone to ground, but he had enough time to keep O'Donnell out of the contest. So, a chance for a goal here to Troy Bond. He's normally a long kick. Oh, he kicks it out to the right and starts to swing it back. And he's missed. So, he's actually a beautiful kick, uh, Bond Roscoe. Yes, he's got plenty of skill. And played the 21 games last year on Dubu, so had a pretty good start. Fletcher to Wanganeen, back into the side to O'Donnell the educated kick along the ground Cook a chance Hannah 
off the ground. Two Essendon players are there. Masidi and Hills. Hills, you're in trouble. O'Donnell kicked it into the back of Bond. Hannah gets it forward for Spalding. Quick hand pass from a standing start. Hannah kicks into the pocket. Essendon with the numbers. Fletcher, good mark. Too tall for Bradley. Could have gone the punch. And Essendon come away with the football. This is Michael Simon. Still he goes. Ungar the Dockers. Running it out through Michael Long. Long at centre wing. Already in the thick of things. Up towards centre half four. Zilvani and Hurt. No mark. A play on call. Good decision by the umpire. Buick. Oh. McKay. Madden. Good tackle by Hurd. Ball jarred free. Picked up by Buick inside the square. Was he tripped? No. Long. Still he goes, Michael Long. Tripped it in short. Player on his own down there is uh, Mark McCurry. Gee, what a great build up by Essen from the back line. A great mark by Fletcher over the back of Bradley. Backed himself. Handballed onto Simons. Now they have a shot at goal. They almost over possessed it there, Pete. Didn't they? Buick just trying to be a little bit too clever. For Essendon second, Mark McCurry. 35 metres out. It's close. He likes it. One behind. Trying to con the goal umpire. Well, is that a dead set con job by Seven? Trying to con the goal umpire. As we see Michael Sexton bring it back into play. Silvani, who gave a magnificent smother about a minute ago. It was absolutely fantastic play by Silvani. I'm looking forward to that clash between he and uh, James Hurd. The kick from Silvani. Oh, look at that holding up in the breeze. Fraser Brown. Oh, he went from towards Matt. Salmon is there. He's got backup support from Mercedes. He was too slow to get rid of it. Ricky Olerenshaw finds O'Donnell. O'Donnell the chip pass out wide towards Sean Denham, the former Geelong player. Caught. Gets in a hand pass. Enormous pressure out here. Here's Mercedes. Back to Olerenshaw. Coming through the middle of the ground. He kicks long. A beautiful long kick. Sexton at the back. Is that a free kick? I think it is. Yes, but To the man in front. And let's see. As we see a free kick to Carlton. The hand pass comes out to Christo. Christo chips it to the half-back line, the Bond. Troy Bond brings it in long towards half-forward. Some pushing and shoving going on. Spalding's knocked out of it. He's got back-up support from Gleeson. He can give it to Camparelli, but he tries to bring it back towards the direction of Cook. Well picked up. Hand pass to Madden. Justin Madden fires for goal. Won't quite make it. And Gary O'Donnell punches it through for a behind, and Bradley's not happy down there. Well, Pete, I thought Madden could have passed it to, I think it was Clapper who was short, and he seemed just to kick blindly to the square, where O'Donnell was always going to be a chance to touch that. Could have almost marked it too, Gary O'Donnell. He does the kicking in. Looks for and finds Gavin Wangadine, the Bradley medalist, back into the side today after injury from left half back. Wangadine kicks to a congested centre wing area. Ball hits the deck, McCurry. Looking for someone going past. Finds Michael Long in great form already. Long centering kick to Cockatoo Collins. Like radar. Right thigh heavily bandaged. Target is hurt. No, he took the mark. Buick, right foot snap. He's going goalwards and gets there. Darren Buick kicks Essendon second and the Bombers lead 2-2 two -two to two behinds. Yes, and what a terribly effective kick out that was too. Coming straight out to find Wanganeen who in space. Long leaning support there. Terrific centering kick. They set that up beautifully. Well played. So a good start to the Bombers as David Grenvold gets it forward in the direction of Alessio. Peter Dean giving away a few inches. Here's Heard. Look at the pressure by Silvani. Tremendous play, Silvani. Heard normally gets those hand passes in, but he couldn't on that occasion. Terrific play by the Carlton defender. And he's in for a busy afternoon because James Heard is a very, very clever player. The Bombers by 12 points. There's Hills and Hannah. Madden. Oh, good play by the big fella. In towards Bradley, good smother of the ball, a difficult one. He has a look around, O'Donnell's uh, hotly pressing him and obviously running with him, uh, yes. Lusko. Yep, we mentioned that early, Pete, so he's got the job there. Centre wing is the throw in. Essendon by two goals. Madden with Alessio, won by the latter. Bounces kindly for Denham, does it? No, it 
Stayed on the carpet. Flicks it back to Grenville. Alessio. From a standing start. Over the head of Silvani. Buick and Whitehead. Sexton. Whitehead will try to rush it through. Which he does. And one behind. So I think that might have been a kick peak from Buick. Was it? Yeah, off, yes, the ground. off the ground. Nearly so went through for a goal. And he does that now and again. Clever. Doesn't he, Buick? So he's kicked 1-1. One, one. We'll give it to him. 2-3 two, to two, 2 behind. Silvani. He was moved to full forward last week against the Eagles and finished up kicking 1-5 so I guess on that it's no surprise that he's back at the key defence post he plays well at either end of the ground Michael Long takes the hand pass still he goes long, outside 50 long bomb and only one behind kick by Michael Long his first score of the day six effective scoring shots 2-2 two, two, and the difference 16-2 to two. good hey. shepherd too by Lauren Shaw two people without jumping in there to allow Long to go free Adrian Whitehead to Silvani, finds Hannah. Oh, dangerous kick. Oh, he gets away with it. This is Brett Ratton. Ratton on the left boot out wide, looking there for Spalding. Mercedes is theirs. And uh, Wanganeen comes in. Oh, still in play, in fact. Quick hand pass back towards uh, Spalding. All the players stopped. They thought it was over the line. Here's Bomber Thompson. He loses it in the tackle. A charge in over. It's tapped back beautifully, but it's taken by Simons. He races across the Carlton goal, and he looks good down there in defence. He finds Hurd. He slips out Silvani on this occasion. Brings it into the centre to Denham. Sean Denham gives it off to Michael Long, who's in scintillating form. Down towards the pocket. Is that a mark to Buick? No, it isn't. Here's Silvani. He goes to ground. Socket off the ground by Dean. Out here is Hannah. Hannah at half back. He's almost on centre wing now as he has a bounce. He backs himself in. Just uh, pushed as he kicked it, which uh, helped him to muck it up, Masidi, to Ola Renshaw. So the turnover allows Ola Renshaw to come around centre wing. Onto the left boot, down towards half forward, Hurd and Silvani. Oh, they all stood there and looked at it. Oh, goodness me, Sexton. He goes to ground. Strong play as Alessio goes in after it. Now Whitehead, he shuffles it out and Fraser Brown will take it away. Good play by the Blues. Brown's kick towards centre wing. Simons again. Oh, a heavy shepherd off the board on Madden. Now Denham. Beautiful pass. Darren Buick a chance for his second. To their team has been terrific so far, Essen. They're prepared to run in numbers. Their chasing's been outstanding. They're tackling their forward line. Big Fish Simmons laid two or three tackles that really has held the ball up. Good to see. Yeah, there were great tackles by Salmon, weren't they? The things the coaches love to see a full forward. Applying tackles like that. Darren Buick has kicked one goal one so far. Usually a good long kick. He's about 45 metres out. And that drifts away to the right-hand side for only a minor score. So behind the Buick, his tally moves to one goal one. And the Essendon tally to two goals five. The difference is 15 points. Great start by the Bombers. Silvani. Not Silvani, it's Christou. Marking in the back pocket. Kicks over the head of Cockatoo Collins, Salmon, and uh, Spalding do battle. Uh, Donnell palms it out. Wanganeen chopped off in midfield. He's got it again. Wanganeen to Alessio. Looks set for a long bomb. Didn't get onto it. Up towards the 10 metre square. McKay battling for it. Heard. Silvani goes in solidly. Sexton will go off the ground. Pass Camparelli. Back towards Brown. Flicks out the hand pass, and the Blues will come away. Brown takes it again. It came from Kudafidis. Gleeson brought down in the tackle. Kicked to half forward. Good punch away by Fletcher. Opens it up for Clappe. Still inside the centre square. Clappe still chases. Good play by Clappe. Out towards Hatter. He was grabbed, but he didn't have it. Oh, the umpire let that go. Come on, umpire. I thought that should have been a free kick to Hatter. Yes, his umpire saw his too. Experienced umpire. And it's still it's a free kick. What's he played that one for? I think he said throw over the shoulder, Pete. Oh, well, 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 they've ended up with a free kick anyway. As we see Cook chip it in short, finds Ratton. A further kick around. And this is Clapay going to have a shot for goal from 45 metres. The former West Coast Eagle. I think he's goal. Yes. So a handy one, that one. To the Blues. Kicked by Clapay. And boy, they needed it because Essendon were on top. Yes, they've dominated the game so far, Pete. And every time they've tried to go forward, Carlton, they've just hung on to the ball a little bit too long. But it's also credit to Essendon for their chasing, their pressure. 
It's the first time really a Carlton player's had a shot like that in a bit of space. Carlton coaches box, Colconeer, David Parkin, Matt Clappe getting Carlton's first goal. He had a bit of a downer last week against his old side. Ratton goes long into the forward line and it rolls through for one behind. Kicked by Brett Ratton. So his first score of the day. Got the tough job on Michael Long too, Pete. Long's been pretty effective so far with six kicks. Eight points the difference. Fletcher to kick in. Yeah, Michael Long having a great year. Shaw. Ratton runs into goal and misses. Oh. Well, bad mistakes there on both sides. Why would you Oof. play on? Well, he kicked well firstly, but you're right there. But the kick coming in to find Long amongst three Carlton players. Here's his kick. It is Long on screen. Three players around him. Oh, gee. Could have paid dearly for that. They were lucky. They were lucky. And this time, Fletcher, no mistake, he goes Long. Punched away by Clappe. Umpire says a free kick going Carlton's way. Going to be taken by Kutafidis. Kutafidis right outside 50. Looks for Cook, finds him. Oh, Fletcher totally misread that. Roscoe? Fletcher? Totally misread. Yes, he did, it. didn't he? He assumed it was going to come a lot longer. Just holding up in the breeze, and he caught was caught very short. So James Cook filling in for Steve Kernahan, relishing his elevation to the seniors. Madden has come off in the usual change with Allen. A little bit of a to-do behind play. Not really too much in it at the moment. And Cook has missed, I believe. We'll wait on the goal on par. I think it's only one behind. It is. So Carlton missing a couple of ones that they should have converted. Emergency umpire out in the ground speaking to the players, but I don't think kicking for goal is going to be easy today because it's a pretty swirling pretty swirly, breeze out yes. there. And yep. uh, looking at the seconds, some easy shots were missed too. Now the chip in, or oh, they've gone the short one again to Simons. That was kicked in by Dustin Fletcher. No one on the mark. So Michael Simons brings it in towards uh, Masiti. Masiti to the half forward line, heard. Oh. He was about to go, bit of firing no. not to call play on. He thought about it. The leader's on. Here's Salmon. Sexton was with him. Good play by Michael Sexton. He butters up, gets it back in the direction of Silvani. Here's Christou. Hands Christou back to Silvani. He'll keep going. You will watch him. He just gets that scrambly kick. It's taken away by Hurd. Hurd to the pocket. It's all Carlton and won't sit for them. And it rolls over the line, deep in that forward pocket, and Peter Deem has that left elbow heavily bandaged. Right forward pocket for Essendon. The boundary throw in, in front of around about 80,000 fans, we'd estimate. And the weather so far has been kind to the players and those in the stands. Alessio and Allen, Silvani over the top, punches down for Dean or Whitehead. Neither can make ground to it. And it will be another throw in. Pete Shaycock or two Collins just uh, came off before. He's got his right leg strapped. Barry Young came on for him. He's just trying to run around that boundary line. Perhaps a bit of a quaddy or a hamstring strain. I thought I saw the uh, strapping on him earlier. Did you? Yep. Brown. Hannah. Now Hannah in great form this year. So to as well as And we've seen him have a marked improvement at his kicking at goal. He won't score from there, of course. Too far out. It'll land round about 50, but Wanganee reads it best. Gives it over to Bomber Thompson. One of the veterans in the side, the skipper. He was on the bench for a little bit last week, but came back well. Hills. Centering kick from him, looking for Salmon, and finds him. Thought about going Salmon. Now gives it off. O'Donnell. Long left footer. Silvani will punch from behind. Hey! He's a good player. He did he? that beautifully. He came forward, then ran back into Silvani to take out his space, and Silvani just got caught a little bit short then in trying to go up and spoil. Terrific mark. Just watch this again. He comes forward a little, heard, and then drifts back into Silvani. Just keeps him out of it. Not a very good attempt either by Silvani to spoil. Shocking kick. Certainly let himself down. Almost a mark down there. Umpire didn't pay it, and it's going to be a bounce. About 15 metres out from the Essendon goal. The Bombers doing most of the attacking in the first quarter. Goals to Buick and Paul Hills. 
As we await the bounce, Ratton and Long, Buick, punched away by Ratton, O'Donnell, outnumbered, Bradley, out of bounds, umpire says throw it in. Well, I mentioned about the kicking for goal is going to be difficult, but Hurd's kick was an absolute shot. Not like that, Pete, no. That's just uh, poorly executed off the boot, or onto the boot, I should say. So, half forward line for the ball. Oh, hit Alessio on the head. The quick kick comes towards the centre of the ground. Here's big Paul Salmon. Waits for it. He's got it. Goes to ground. Gets in a hand pass. Masiti to Gary O'Donnell. He brings it out wide. He's heard. What a contest. Well, he's a good player. Heard. Look at the way he gets on with the game and brings it in towards the pocket. He was looking for Buick. He tried to mark one-handed. Sexton has got it. Onto the left boot, hooks it back to the halfback area. Herds there again, bounces over his head. Here's Simon's way up the ground. Was he legged? The umpire <laughs> said no. And uh, by Silvani, Simon's not arguing. It'll be a throw in at half forward. Just he just put the ball down in front of himself, then had a little bit of kick. It's very clever. Oh, that, that trip. had to be That's a trip. trip of holding the man, didn't it? Heard onto Denham. Denham sets it up for his forward. The Carlton players are in the van, though. And a nice mark taken by the ever reliable Andrew McKay. Now, McKay's got loose men everywhere. No, play a free, free kick, kick yeah. Some of them pushed uh, Sexton, Pete. Well, it just held Carlton up a little bit there. The kick to half back and Dean. Dean sees Ratton. This is a good build-up. He might can chip it out wide. He's looking here for Cook. Oh, good mark. No. Or is it a free? No. Play on, says the umpire. Gleeson takes, takes it to the line. Good attempt by Cook, but I think he tripped over. Yes, and a change been made by David Park, and uh, Sexton's coming up onto uh, Hurd. Silvani goes back onto Somerville. There's the attempted mark by Cook. No, play on. Simons to Thompson to Wangadeen around Clappe. A little nine iron shot in towards the centre square. Courage needed there. McKay showed plenty of it. Nearly caught with the ball. Flicks it on to Gleeson. A quick kick by the Carlton Rover in towards full four. Great mark. Spalding has marked 15 metres out on a 45 degree angle. Just a bit too tall there for Joe Masidi. He was playing centre half back on Spalding. He backed himself in well done too by McKay to get the ball up to Gleeson. Just backs himself in here. Just pushes Masidi out of it. Good grab. Well, I spoke earlier about his improved kicking. Don't let me down, Earl. He'll kick it. Obviously, distance, not a problem. He has kicked it. Sporting gets his second and Carlton second. Scores level at the MCG with two and a half minutes left in the quarter. What an important kick too for Earl Sporting, just for his own confidence, but also for the team. Both sides missing some what we would think would be fairly straightforward opportunities, but as Pete mentioned, that breeze is quite swirly and difficult to kick goals from what we think would be fairly set straight shots. Well done, Earl Sporting. Good mark. Carlton have forced their way back into this uh, game. Denham had a quick kick at Donald. It's it to Simon. Simon's to the half forward area. Thumped away by Chris Dewar's good play. Here's Bradley. Good pick up by Craig Bradley. He's a very good player, Bradley. Long kick to the half forward line. Some pushing and shoving going on at half forward. Umpire called play on. Fraser Brown, good play. In towards half forward. It's a free kick to Fletcher. He was held. Yes. And the umpire said exactly that. Free kick to Dustin Fletcher. Cook seemed to lose sight of that, Pete, didn't he? He took his eye off the ball completely. So Fletcher to centre wing, here's Somerville and Silvani, no mark, the ball hits the deck. Camparelli went in hard with the hip and shoulder, he can shoot this out to Fraser Brown, he's caught. Gets in a hand pass, Camparelli again, but it's not wide to Gleeson. Gleeson on the left boot, a one-on-one -on -one contest, Cook caught behind, another free kick. I don't think David Parker will like this. Don't be surprised if you see a change in the next minute because... Two free kicks he's given away. Yeah, that's terrible. You just can't afford the players work so hard midfield to get the ball up to you. You just don't give it away so easily. And also, Ross, being a forward, you must be, be in front, front of your man Correct. for yep. that quick kick down the ground. It will be interesting to see David Parkin's reaction because two vital opportunities gone missing and uh, given away pretty easily. In fact, here's Masidi. He's gone Ooh. wide. Now, is that out in the full? Or a throw in? It was just touched before it hit the line. So, throw in at the 50 metre line. Poor effort nonetheless. A minute left in the quarter. Kudafides does the ruck work long. 
A little bit of basketball there. Kudafiti supplies the tackle. That'll be high on Bond, surely. Umpire has seen it. And Bond will take the free kick. Gives it to Bradley. Around O'Donnell, or is he? Good tackle! Back to Brown. He goes at goal from 65 metres. This time, James Cook. That's better. And that's the difference, isn't it, Pete? Wants to get front, front position. Exactly. Give yourself a chance. Any score will put Carlton in front. So again, Fraser Brown's lifted his rating too. Denham's been pretty tight on him. Now, Brown is going to be, not Brown, Cook, right on the boundary line. Bond coming up too, uh, Dean Rice to come on. He runs around, kicks, looks pretty good, I think he's got it. It's a goal. So a mixed quarter for James Cook right on the siren. Carlton hit the lead at the MCG. And the scores... A crackerjack opening quarter. The Blues leading by one goal at the first change. Second quarter from the MCG, the Blues leading in light rain. Six points the difference. Brown up towards full forward. No mark taken. A little give by Masiti. Out to Thompson. Relays it to Wanganeen. And then he went uh, out of bounds with that. Masiti along the ground, but only back to Brown from a standing start. Long bomb with the left foot. He's just off yeah. target and through for only one behind. Got themselves into trouble there, Bomber Thompson. I thought he should have kept going to the boundary on his favoured left foot and he gave it back to Wanganeen who was in deeper trouble only cost them a goal Dean Rice the comeback kid two knee reconstructions he's back into the side today Fletcher to bring the ball back into play oh what a mammoth roost that was Madden has given away a free kick I fancy into the shoulder of his opponent is that Onglissio or was it Somerville it's Somerville Somerville short of centre field Young in front, he came on for Cockatoo Collins in the first quarter. Kudafiti is a close attack on Grenville. The sun comes out now. McKay at half back. So Andrew McKay, oh, an ordinary kick, a wobbly one, but look at the pace of Camper Rally. Picked it up beautifully too as he slipped over. Terrific play by the young player. In towards the pocket. Fletcher tried on one hand. He's got backup support there from Wanganeen. Or should I say a backup, Pete? <laughs> As we see, Long, look at that brilliant play. Ratton taps it back towards the line, then goes and gets it himself, hooks it back to the 50-metre line, and Gleeson taking the mark. Hugh Carlton have played well from 10 minutes before quarter time, and now they're going on with the two in front of goal. Here's uh, Joe Mercedes on to Simon. Simon's trying to uh, suck the Carlton player to come forward. He does so. Renvold to the half-back area. Barry Young is on the ground. Hands Chris do well played to thump it back. Denham. Grenvold. So Grenvold looking down here to Hurd. Oh, look at that. Desperation by Silvani to thump it over the line in front of the Melbourne members. So he's back on James Hurd. Yes, David Parkin said you've got the job again. Sexton's gone back to full back on Salmon. Well, they've had some great contests already, Silvani and Hurd. So boundary throw in right in front of the MCG members stand. Madden at the back, punches to the front. Silvani got one high, the ball is over the line again. James Hurd will give it back to the boundary umpire and we'll do it all again. Kudafidi's off and Bond back on for Carlton. And both changes, both coaches using the interchange bench freely. Alessio palms down, still can't clear the huddle and it's going to be a bounce. Only spare seats available at the ground here, high in the western stand, so it's about uh, nine-tenths full, the MCG, you would reckon. It's like a pas de deux between those two. Alessio and Madden. Madden 
gets the better of the bounce. Nearly a throw. We'll call it a tap on. Bradley. Denham in pursuit. Bradley's kick towards left half forward. Marking contest down there. Rice got too far underneath it. And his teammate Clappe gets an awkward bounce. It's out of bounds. 70 metres from the Carlton goal. Northwesterly blowing at the moment, so it would favour that end. But of course, here at the MCG, the British does swirl a lot. Kicking for goal, not the easiest task this afternoon. Umpire might have found a free kick here. He has. Well, that's going to Carlton. That is very, very good umpiring then. Earl Spalding, the recipient. No, it's got to go back to Fraser Brown, I'm sure. Well, that's it? what I no. thought he was going to pay the free kick oh. to. Fletcher in front at the back is Somerville, who takes the mark. He goes across goal. He's found Simons. And Cook stands the mark. Simons pretty good in the first quarter. Five and four, Pete. Created a lot of opportunities, including a nice run down the ground. Wanganeen and Gleeson. Wanganeen with the speed. Good chase by Gleeson. The kick by Wanganeen. Looking for Michael Long. He doesn't let him down. Oh, look at the pace of Long. Didn't he make up some ground? Well, he's come back me. from a knee reconstruction and tremendous pace. Here's Hurd and Silvani. I'm really enjoying this. Look at Hurd going to ground. Oh. Oh, they, all over his neck yeah, and kick. shoulder. Had to be a free kick. In fact, it was really against Peter Dean in the finish. It was. So Hurd is a sensational player. James Hurd in towards half foot. It holds up in the breeze, but Vic Alessio is here to mark over the top of Justin Madden. Is that possible? <laughs> well, from the side at least. That was a good effort. Bit of quality about this player. From the Hurd free kick. Did the grab just on the left of the screen. Up he goes. Read that well. Well, Madden didn't really jump or put the arms up so won't be an easy shot for goal swirling wind as we said he'll have to kick from about 51 meters Ooh. there's a drop part a beautiful kick clears the fence for goal great kick by Alessio he certainly has got a touch of class and Carlton lead by a point Yes, and great effort by Wanganeen and Long to combine on the outer flank to get the ball down and eventually Heard got that free kick Good grab by Alessio. As you said, Pete, he had a few options to pass, but he obviously backed himself, and that's why. So, a great goal by Steve Alessio. That's what Essendon needed. We come back to the, the centre. 38th career goal to Steve Alessio. It's Carlton going back into attack. Kick up towards half forward. In fact, into the forward pocket. Fletcher is that out of bounds on the full. Yep. It'll be a Carlton free kick to be taken by James Cook. Now, Cook kicked one from the first quarter from a similar position when he ran around. And it'll be a fair bet he'd try the same again. Well, he's got to run out. That's the angle confronting him, so a bit of daylight between the posts. Terrific camera shot that, isn't it? Run out and snap it. That's what he does. Off he goes. Snaps and snaps truly. It's a goal his second. So James Cook has kicked two goals, one, and Carlton go back to the lead, 4-6 to 3-5. Yes, and his last two kicks have been very important for Carlton. Increase their lead, I should say. Seven points the margin is now. And he also should learn to, as Pete said before, that if he gets in front, he gets the opportunity here, obviously a kick from a free kick, but he's trying to play in front more often now. Back to the centre, Madden hooks it down with the left hand. Ola Renshaw goes to ground, up by calls, play on. A quick hand pass by, by Ratton in towards Rice, taken by O'Donnell. Well, O'Donnell didn't quite take it, and eventually the umpire will have to come in and bounce. Just like the way Carlton are playing at the moment, Roscoe. Yes, they've really lifted their rating, and their midfielders are getting more of the ball. So Madden against Somerville. Madden hooks it with the left hand. Oh, well played by Gleeson, out in the direction of Hannah. Hills has got him. Long has been terrific, Michael Long, and they love him, the Essendon crowd. Centre wing is uh, Mercury. Uh, Mark Mercury. Very talented young player, brings it in towards the half forward area. Alessio couldn't mark, went one handed. Heard got it back to him. Off the ground, the Carlton defence working overtime here. Dean, free kick to Carlton though. A holding decision and it will go here to Fraser Brown. This is good play too because he spots out of the corner of his eye. Christo, he loves a run the bounce. Now will he go the booming kick? No, he'll go the hand pass to Hannah. Hannah will probably go the long one to Cook. Cook leads out wide into the woods of pocket. Might mark. No, he tips it. Wasn't a real good attempt. It wasn't then. a good kick either, Put I didn't think. 
Here's Ricky Olerinshaw. Coming around centre wing, he's getting plenty of support out there as he brings it in towards half forward. The pack develops and the ever-reliable Michael Sexton has taken the mark. Sexton to Milhatter. Hatter at left half back again with oh. plenty of space. An absolute Barry Crocker of a hand pass. Hills, Thompson, Thompson, straight to D. Well, a couple of ordinary passages of play there. Well, Hannah was let off the hook, wasn't he? He was. Dean's oh. kick, pinpoint accuracy to Gleeson, who marks in front of Denham. Carlton certainly lifting their work rate after about midway through the first quarter. Well, they could have upset their apple cart there, but Bond takes it. A little stint of the bench in the first quarter. Bond kicks towards left half forward. Clappe punched away by the Essendon defence. Ball hits the deck again. Wangadeen got a little bit of a push. Clappe over the boundary line. So too is the ball, and it will be thrown in. Denham is off, and Cockatoo Collins back on. And Salmon also coming off. And Ryan O'Connor yes. is to have a stint on the field. Well, Cockatoo Collins, just looking at him, he seems to be moving OK. Mercury, Wangadeen, you're in trouble, son. Nobody there to give you support. It's out of bounds right on 50. So the Bombers finding it tough to pierce that very strong Carlton defence at the moment. Hardwick also on the bench, so Kevin Sheedy looks as though he's going to ring another change. Barry Young, I think, will be the player to come off. He's not frightened to do that, Kevin, as we know. Or we'll swap them from one end to the other. That's right. So another boundary throw-in. Still in the same area. Spalding, like a bull. Clappe. Good kick. Sexton. He's moved well down the ground. Cook to Hannah. Away goes Mill, right on 50. Terrible kick. And snared by Masiti. Gleeson comes at him, but he clears it over the boundary line in front of Bond for another throw in. Gee, that was great skill by Masiti to trap that ball like that. Good shepherd, too, to, from a Carlton play to help Hannah get that kick downfield. So, forward pocket for the Blues, Spalding. Somerville came over the back. Here's Gleeson. Couldn't get his boot to it. Somerville hooks it out. Wanganeen close to the boundary line. He'll try and bring it around. Clever little kick by Wanganeen. Gained about 25, 30 metres. And there's James Cook in the hands of the trainers. So he gained 25 to 30 metres in Wanganeen. That's Paul Salmon getting some uh, stretching exercises. So it's still at the half forward area for the Blues. Madden. And Hannah, Hannah won it actually in the finish. Clap A, Spalding, always works very, very hard. Here's Camparelli. Now, how will the umpires see that? He'll say in the back for yeah. sure, even though it's an awkward one to adjudicate on, Ross. It is, it? but in the end, he was pushed in the back. So, so he forces him forward. He actually grabbed him all right. And then, look, that's got to be in the back. Yeah, they not always pay that one in the back. They're pretty consistent on that. Camparelli, way out at half forward, is going to set it up for the high markers. Here they come. Only one Carlton player flew against two Essendon. Oh, it's almost thrown out by Gleeson. Grabbed by Wanganeen. Onto the left boot. Cool, calm and collected. And he finds Simons. Those two are doing very well down there in defence. Michael Simons wearing the gloves. He's a very strong player overhead. A low pass. Finds uh, Darren Buick. Good kick. Oh, great kick to Mercury. A tremendous kick. That's how you kick a football. In the hills. Hills races into the half-forward area. Kicks. Oh, it props it up high. Here they come from behind. Oh! Oh, big mark over the back. Is it Somerville? No, it was Lesio. Lesio, Lesio, in fact. Well, it wasn't a good kick, Pete, was it, by Hills? It really sat up too high. But gee, this bloke came from nowhere. Just snapped it over the front of the pack. Well, I said uh, a couple of weeks ago he'll play for Victoria this year, Ross. Is Jared listening? <laughs> the chairman of selectors, I'll talk him into it. I reckon he's a greatly improved player, Steve Alessio. Well, distance won't be a problem, Pete, judging by the previous kick. Madden coming off the ground and Allen on as Alessio kicks and pops it through. So, again, we see Carlton leading by a point. It was a terrific kick by Buick uh, to get up here to Mercury. Fantastic spotting. Centering to Hills, whose kick I thought was a bit ordinary. But perhaps he knew the Lessio was going to take a mark like this. Just snapped it over from behind, plucked it out. Good grab. 
Mark of the day so far, Stephen Amesio. 39 career goals to Stephen Amesio, two today after that spectacular mark at full forward. Masiti, sweeping hand pass to accommodate Michael Long over Camparelli. Hills, nice gather, short of half forward, away he goes again, chips it in short, no mark taken this time, the Carlton defence on top, Sexton clears it out towards the outer side. Great play Silvani then again, Camparelli, Ratten, look for somebody going past, nobody was there, goes long with the kick instead, up the cook, couldn't find him, Simons, good tackle by Gleeson, Tape a chance, Oliver Renshaw beats him to it, will he give it to Wanganin? No he won't. Doesn't have to. Nice footwork. Hills again. You'll run out of room suddenly. He has. It's out of bounds on centre wing. Just a point the difference. If you saw the opening of our telecast today, you'll note that these two sides have had some thrillers in the last few years. And this one's certainly shaping up again. Too high on Hills. He'll take a free kick on centre wing. Haven't seen too much of Hills this year. And one a runner out there, Brian Wood. Silvani and Hurd. Oh, Silvani! Oh, it's got to be a free kick. I would think so, Pete. No doubt about that one. He's trying to do a Trevor Barker sauce. Yes, looked like it. He gives it away quickly. Buick. Straight to D. And Kevin Sheedy would be very unhappy with that. Hannah. Played a great game last week. And Christo. Short of <laughs> centre wing. The Wolf. Good mark taken by Fletcher with the gloves. Cook just conceding a bit too easily there. This is where they miss Kernahan. Yeah, they sure do. Let's kick two goals though, James yeah, Cook. Yes, he's done all right. Somerville. Height of Essendon, a telling factor. This guy loves a run. Oliver Renshaw. Kick not great. Might be Down the field, Pete, yes. Got pushed right in the back. And the Carlton runner also out delivering messages. Scott well, Caparelli on the end of that one. I don't know whether... There it is. That's not 50 metres. Well, downfield, there's not actually Downfield, Pete. You don't agree anyway. Yeah, but it should have been brought back. Mark Thompson. The captain. 49 metres out. Won't quite make the distance. And off the hands of the pack. Rush through for one behind to the Bombers. So. Scores on level again. Kevin Sheedy looks on interestedly. We've passed the halfway mark of the second quarter and Dean to kick in. Dean finds Silvani. Silvani can give it to Hanno, although that would be a little bit risky. So he elects to bring it to the halfback. Eric Gary O'Donnell and James Hurd spoiled each other. Well, the hand pass was to no one in particular. Back it comes from Hills to Hurd. And a shocking kick by James. So it's some of the kicking has been very, very ordinary. You can't blame the win for it every time. Hanna to Silvani, Chris Du. Silvani in trouble. Oh, dodges the tackle. Gets it to Andrew McKay. McKay the chip pass. Out towards centre wing. Here's Sexton. Breaks the tackle. Onto the left boot. Straight up in the air. Oh, good mark. Spalding it's courage. Terrific mark. Enormous courage shown by Spalding then. He's a much maligned player by the Carlton supporters, but he has been a good player for them since coming across from Melbourne. That's a bit harsh, Pete. He's not that maligned, is he? He is. Oh, you, is speak, he? you speak to Carlton supporters. They oh, can him all the time. Here's Cook. Oh, he misses the money. Should have taken James Cook. Here's Gleeson. And over the line it goes about 25 metres around from the behind post. Seven minutes left in the half. Scores level again. Brown, Rice. And he's not going anywhere. Tackling, I think, today. Well, it has been a feature. The kicking certainly hasn't. Both sides have tackled very, very well. Gee, it's crowded down there. Bradley. Couldn't take a clean oh. position. Yeah, that was nearly a throw. They might get away with it, Essendon. They do. Hills gives it to O'Donnell. He goes educatedly along the boundary line. Joe Masidi picks it up outside the line and it will be thrown in. So good little clearance there by Essendon. Good if he's about to return to the uh, return to the field. Ratten. Oh, gee, that's casual. Grenville. 
Now the bounce is going to be a factor. Rice, Hardwick nearly had his head taken off. Oh, that was a free, wasn't Goodness it? Goodness me. Whitehead and Buick. Buick says, thank you very much. Ooh. Oh, Christo went in. Looped over the top. Mercury and McKay. The ladder slips over. Oh, Buick comes a ripper. I don't think there's much in that, actually. <laughs> Professional free kick, I think that was. Yeah, Dean Rice comes off, Kuda Fetty's back on. Here's this. Oh, I got him right in the nose. I just adjusted his nose. Yeah. Sexton has taken the mark anyway. Oh, Centers the ball. Do you need to mark this out? And then he does. Away to Dean. Carlton will get clear. Ratton, they're coming down the centre of the ground. Long kick by Brett oh. Ratton. Well inside 50. Straight to Fletcher. Thanks very much. Thanks for coming. Well, Cook had gone the other way. And Ratton kicked it straight to Fletcher. Jesus, some ordinary football at the moment. Down towards Hurd. Oh, look at that. Good mark taken by Allen. He's going to be a good player. Some of the kicking skills are very, very ordinary at the moment. Allen. To set a wing, Peter Dean puts himself in front. Here's Hills. There is a lot of pressure out there, though. Somerville, O'Donnell, Ola Renshaw. Nice hand pass. Cockatoo Collins kicks it long. Chris Do and Alessio. Oh, Alessio couldn't quite hang on to it. Hurd gets it back. Buick kicks it in midair. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. It's clever, isn't it? He's put it through from behind. He is dangerous, Darren Buick. And G. Hurd's a good player. Yeah, no, no question about that, but Still feeling his nose. It is still there, Darren, I can assure <laughs> you. But as Ross said, it's moved a little bit, I think. <laughs> Hannah. One, one through to Buick, Pete. They hurt on a cold day. It's not that cold today. Mill Hannah. Good kick distance-wise. Dean underneath it. Did he get it inside the line? I think he did. Just... Right on the boundary. Peter Dean. Ratton, bump ball, long chases. Ratton across his body, Spalding. In possession at half forward, under Bradley. Danger for Essendon here. Still he goes, Bradley. Good. Centering kick, Gleason. Perfect vision. What a kick. Fantastic kick. He's found a pretty tough game now, Bradley, against O'Donnell, who always plays pretty tight. Just the four kicks for Bradley, but... Terrific one, that. So Adrian Gleeson directly in front of goal. A chance to regain the lead for Carlton. Hit the post. So he scores level again. One behind, kicked by Gleeson. Let's look at the mark again. Or well, the it, kick more particularly. Yes, and the pressure coming from Wanganeen just getting back, but not quite quickly enough. Play continues, a little short kick out from full back. Masiti has got it. Ratton will stand the mark. Masiti also short. Long has a little bit of a look. See if he can get clear. And on the end of it, Grenvold, no one standing here. So David Grenvold, the uh, ex South Australian, to Cockadoo Collins. Good punch away allows Allen to pick it up. And onto the left boot, a long kick in towards the full forward line. Over the back is Fletcher. He's got some support down there from Wanganeen. Hardwick, well, they're getting themselves into trouble here. Back to Wanganeen. Plenty of poise, Kevin Wanganeen, to the half-back area. Peter Somerville. Now Hills. He's getting plenty of touches. Hills, caught, breaks the tackle. Brings it into the half-forward area. Andrew McKay back after. Cockatoo Collins, a little bit too much pace. Two former South Australians against each other. Well played, Cockatoo Collins. Down towards the half-forward area. Bomber Thompson goes to ground. And eventually it rolls over the line. About 25 metres around from the Essendon goal. You could almost call for a free kick there to Bomber Thompson. Certainly carried forward. Three minutes left in the half. Uh, Cotter and Sexton. O'Connor, clean possession, no one to give it to. Buick applies a tackle, Whitehead, still he goes. O'Connor underneath. Ola Renshaw, touched off the boot. Brown. Ratton. And the Blues away again. Long kick once more by Ratton, up towards midfield. Clap by a chance. This is Bond. Nice gather, one on one at the back. Fletcher didn't try to mark, just bolloed it towards the boundary line. And uh, will that be a free kick? Yes, it will. He was out of bounds. And Wanganeen will take the free kick nonetheless. Back to Fletcher. 
He'll come around the member stand side. Long kick, low kick. Mark McCurry will kick to half forward. Oh, decent old shot there by oh, Silvani. That. He's caught by Hurd. He's got a free kick for too high. Free kick. Well, it should have been a push, definitely. That is, uh, oh, what can we say? You saw it all. Chris two. Can't control it. Bounce very fickle. It's out of bounds on centre wing. Well, another poor kick then out to Chris two. Uh, yes. That's what I say. The general field kicking has been very ordinary. Centre bit. Plenty of pressure on out in this game. Two pretty evenly matched sides. Allen is going to be a good player. Look at that intelligent player. Chris two. Gets it back to Ratton, who's been outstanding. Oh, look at Long, Michael Long, to half forward. And geez, an unsung hero, this bloke. He plays a good game every week, Sexton. Very reliable, isn't he? Terrific player. Christo, marks. Oh, he's got to get rid of it. He just gets his boot to it before O'Connor caught him. Here's some of them. Oh, good spoil was by Spalding. The umpire's giving him a free kick. Peter Somerville, on to Damien Hardwick. Gee, they've got some uh, depth there, in the centre of the ground is Ricky Ola Renshaw. Under that left boot, a nice kick too. He's looking down there for, to Steve Alessio. He couldn't mark. Christo was grabbed when he didn't have it, I think. Yes, correct, but he got the free kick. And uh, he'll get the free kick at half-back, Ange Christo. Plays on straight away. Allen, no one within a country mile of him. Long gives chase. Won't catch him. Centering kick. Good catch. Some of it. Wanganeen bounces up nicely for him. The Bradley medalist chips it in short. Simons. Was he off? No. Camparelli stands the mark. Two defeaties isn't too fit. Buick in front and marks in front of Whitehead. Kicked a great snap goal in the first quarter, Darren Buick. He's at left centre wing. Clock ticking down. We've only got about a quarter of a minute left in this half. And that might be the last scoring foray because Sexton has taken the mark. Gleeson. Cockatoo Collins chases. High kick. Wanganeen. Only one there. The Bradley medalist once again does the mopping up. And there's the siren to end the first half. And the score's all tied up. Carlton 4-7-31. Essendon 4-7-31. It's really been <laughs> Scores level as we start the third quarter at the MCG. Between 70 and 80,000 we'd reckon here to see this round seven match. Madden to Rat. No one out there. And Dean Rice gets his hands on the footy, but he's not going to get a disposal because it's out of bounds. The comeback hit, Dean Rice, 118. Oh, great games. performance, Pete. Great performance to even be playing football. Dean Two Rice. knee reconstructions. Yeah, it's a great compliment to him that yeah. he's come back. Fantastic. Some of them over the top. Clap A leaves it for Brown. Probably could have had a dip at it himself. And the umpire will bounce it. Ryan O'Connor's gone to centre half back on Sporting Mercedes. He seems to have an on ball roll. Started in the middle for the start of this third quarter. Madden and Somerville. Past Hannah. Brown. Standing start kick. Travels 35 metres. Gleason in front. Gets out marked. Good mark by the Brownlow medalist. He's been excellent down there in the back pocket. Oliver Renshaw has also been good. Hills. Making a rare appearance this year so far, up towards half court. Cockatoo Collins missed what he should have taken. Opportunity for Hurd, farms it out. Not a good hand pass. It comes back to Grenvold, slips over at the crucial minute. Gives it over to Silvani. Silvani short of half four. Like a poleaxed. Still Carlton goes. Brown from Kudafidis. Clappe thought he had the mark. It was a bump ball, goes off the ground. And Susan going to get over the boundary line at left half forward in front of Hardwick. It's a throw in. Michael yeah. Long's going to a pocket. So Mercedes gone up to run with Ratton, who was very damaging. There's Matt Clappe on screen, the former West Coast Eagles player. And he played a few good games for the West Coast too. So that he did, yes. just shows how strong they are. So at the 50 metre line, 
Ryan O'Connor versus Sporting. Sporting trying to claim a free kick there, but the umpire having none of that. Number 43, you see in the bottom of the pack is Anthony Kudafidis, who lipped off in the second turn, so that's good to see him out there. Super quick player and very, very big up top, as you can see. Obviously done the weights. As we see Spalding winning that hit out. He's been a good player, punched away by Somerville. Here's Grenville racing after it, and he's a typical defender. Roscoe, straight to the game, line. Actually, yes. So another throw in to take place. Anyone's game. Scores a level. As the punch out wide comes to Fraser Brown, who's doing well. Bradley to Brown. Great smother O'Donnell holding the man. Yes, definitely. And he'll have to come back. No advantage. Oh! Now, how will the umpire read this? He's saying that O'Donnell's uh, staging a bit, I think. And he's not going to ping him for 50. So his, his, his foot or his ankle. Oh, yes. Right ankle, Pete. And he got trodden on again. Anyway, the kick down to half one. Sexton again. She's a reliable player. Doing well. Michael Sexton brings it wide. All sporting was grabbed as he ran for that ball by O'Connor. The umpire missed that. O'Connor up in the air towards half forward. At the back is Buick. At the front is Whitehead. Back it comes to McKay. Sexton is there. Oh. Hurd scoops it out. Buick in towards full four in the mark taken by another reliable player in Peter Dean. Would have been a free kick anyway if you mind if you hadn't taken the mark. Well, they've got a very good defence, Carlton. There's no doubt about that. Every one of them is a desperado. In towards halfback, great mark. Is it Grenvold? Yes, it is. Way great. down there. So David Grenvold is marked about 70 metres from goal. But both defences on top at the moment. Renvold brings it in towards half forward. Madden sets himself, doesn't attempt to mark. Tried to tap it long, gets it to Cockatoo Collins. Quick hand pass, finds Denham. This is Masiti on an ordinary kick. Was out towards Grenvold. He's got plenty of time though to go back and chip it in towards the pocket. The lead is on by long, and he's marked it close to the boundary line. So Michael Long will kick from about 45 metres. Very acute angle, but he is a left footer, so he's on the right side of the ground. And it's nothing is beyond this man. So Michael Long, a chance to put the Bombers in front. He's kicking just inside 50, a low trajectory drop punt. Won't quite make the distance. Madden doesn't attempt to mark again and punches it through. I thought he could have marked Well, it. I thought so too, Pete. So the Bombers hit the front by virtue of that rush behind. 32 plays 31. Ange Christou. Out to his look-alike, Silvani. Oh, Dean was asleep. Well, you don't often see that. <laughs> That's the player of his calibre. Gee, they were lucky to get out of that. Mercedes gets ridden into the ground. They were. Oh, they're not out of it yet. Cockatoo Collins. Gang tackled. Ratton comes out with a footy. Well played, son. Kicks it up towards midfield, marking contest, none can take it. Wanganin, well down the field, crushes one tackle, still he goes, the Brownlow medalist. The pass into her, terrific mark, great play. She Third, a good mark. Maybe too far out the score, Buick makes a lead. Sendry kick to Simons, couldn't take it, Brown caught. Now Mercury, snapshot, 40 metres out. Has missed one behind. Two behinds to Mark McCurry and two behinds this quarter to Essendon to make the difference two points. 33 to 31. Paul Salmon looks on. Shipped Crazy. out by Ange Christou. Kicks the ball. Well and truly long towards the outer side. Ola Renshaw takes the mark and gets a little bit of attention. He's too far out to score. Fraser Brown, a bit of trouble too, put on the half forward line. So Ricky Ola Renshaw, a low trajectory kick. Ange Christou back with the fly. But gee, defence is way on top. He transfers play. He's looking here for Mill Hanna and he found him in the back pocket. Hanna, oh, dangerous play. It'll come off. Oh. They're taking some chances, both defences with a short passing. Andrew McKay calling for someone out wide. Here's Madden. Will he try to mark this one? Yes, big Justin. Now he 
he's going to try, I thought he was going to try something fancy then, <laughs> but he, he elected not to. Down towards half was Spalding, well done. Getting his body in front, Ratton again. Fraser Brown, now Camparelli, the lead is on a low trajectory pass. Now, is that a mark? I no. said no. He no. didn't quite control it long enough, Dean Rice. So it'll be a throw in at half forward for the Blues as Colin Seary, former North Melbourne player and uh, the runner, speaks to Dean Rice. No goals scored in the third quarter so far. Only two behinds to Essendon. One of them rushed, clap by a fumble and then a kick across his body out in front of goal. Got a bit of free kick back there for holding. The umpire lets it go. Wangadine takes the hand pass from Grenvold. Still he goes the Brownlow medalist. Kudafidi's chasing. Won't catch him. Bounces just on 50. Nice palm oh. out by Alessio. Couldn't get it to Long. Dean. Now Silvani. And Wanganeen still running. This way, that way. Sexton comes at him. No one to give it to. Finally he goes Long out to Denham. Denham's kick from centre wing. Oh. Dean. Is anybody being held there? No, says the umpire. Now McCurry takes the hand pass. McKay comes at him. He kicks, but he's off target. Three behind in this quarter to Essendon. Opportunities being missed. So Mark McCurry has kicked two of those. And he's kicked three for the match. 4-10 to 4-7. Well, Gleeson's on his own out here at half-back, if it can reach him. But, ah, oh, Hurd, fantastic reading of the play. Great play by Hurd. There's two men on the mark, so uh, Hurd brings it in towards full forward. It'll clear the pack. Danger here because Essendon, oh, well done by Alessio as he gets it to Ricky Oller inshore. He hooks it around the body on the left. He's kicked a great goal. Well played, Alessio. Gee, they're hard to get goals, Ross, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty tough to come by, Pete, but the pressure's been there. Terrific mark by Hurd to lead that, as Peter said, to come across and lead the kick out. And then he's kicked it. He's actually looking for Alessio. The ball just carried him a little, but then he had the good sense just to pat it down. And Ola Renshaw on his favourite left. Good goal. So finally the Bombers get a goal. Terrific snapshot by Ola Renshaw. Camparelli gives out the hand pass. Carlton go forward. Brown from Kudafidis. Ratten. Now back to Camparelli. Kicks in towards the forward pocket. Fletcher. Hardwick. You'll have to go, son. He does. On to Somerville, who does the mopping up work. Goes a cross goal. They need to take the mark here. Grenvold couldn't do it. Goes for the boundary line. And O'Donnell. Has he kept it in play? He hasn't. He seems to be moving okay after that clash with... Um, who was it? With Brown? Before. Brown. Yep. He stood on his ankle. And he wasn't too happy about the treatment meted out to him. But he's moving all right. Madden and Somerville. Somerville gets uh, poleaxed. Hardwick. Now Kudafidis. Ball bounces very kindly for him. Over to Christou. There's the Wolf. Rice. In front of Hardwick this time. And he takes the mark, Dean Rice. Lead from uh, Spalding. Now Wanganeen. Back to Hardwick. Lovely smother by Rice, ball still in play. Went oh! The top. Holding the ball! A great what play! What a tackle! Play of the day by Dean Rice, just absolute desperation. Sensational stuff! Just followed up the smother initially, then went straight through. Wanganee thought he was on his own. Good umpiring to pay it, too, because he had every chance of getting rid of it. Gutsy decision, but reward for the perfect tackle. And Dean Rice... A bit like a bear. Kicks it goal. What's he done with that one? Might have missed it, I think. One behind. Certainly deserved better. So, one behind. Uh, Dean Rice, after that tackle, it's now 4-8 to 5-10. So, let's have a look at this smother. He smothered that, and Ross, the perfect tackle you'd call oh, it. Oh, dear, look at that. I don't think Wanganeen was expecting it. He that just all, stood no. there. He might have been watching Scott Ch Chisholm too much from the uh, the Dockers. He stands here and then runs round them, doesn't he? He's a little beauty. As we see, coming to half back, here's McCurry. A good running side, Essendon. Masidi. Hurd and Silvani. Look at Hurd. She's a good player. Six marks, but Six marks. And he's on quality opposition. Christo. And long. Well played by Christo. 
long and Cockatoo Collins. Fraser Brown's doing all right. Cockatoo Collins doesn't look too fit as he chased that one out on centre on uh, half forward flank area. Just didn't move all that uh, well to that ball. So 60 metres from the Essendon goal. They've looked a little bit more dangerous up forward. Chris Dew receives from Fraser Brown. He's Ratton, he's almost best man on the ground. Centre wing, well played by O'Connor, a great track. He brings it into the half forward area. And Sexton, oh, not very often he drops a mark like that. But he butters up and gives it to Chris Dew. Carlton defence working overtime down here. Brown. A nice balk to get around Grenville. Lobs it onto the centre wing position. O'Connor oh, gets a rotten bounce. Sporting gives it away. Good defeat. He's to half oh. forward. Simons. He's had a good game. Simons brings it back to the other side of the ground. The member side of a Renshaw. Hardwick. Over the top of a Renshaw. Playing keepings off. Hardwick. Longer hand pass this time. They set it up better. Ola Renshaw onto the left foot, centering kick, Cockatoo Collins, he'll have to fly some, couldn't bring it down. Brown, he's defending pretty well. Ratton applies a tackle. Oh, the umpire Rowan Sawers will bounce it. 45 metres out directly in front of goal. Well, certainly the scoring, not a feature of the match, but the tackling is, and the pressure. O'Donnell chips it in short tried to find Cockatoo Collins Bradley Masiti Ratton again under Gleeson outside the square Gleeson to centre half forward Rice oh courage needed there and Dean Rice had an abundance of it oh. has fallen over now that's oh. dreadful football terrible Abysmal football. Wangadoon. I don't know what stops they've got on. Grenville, did he play on? No. He should have been having a shot for goal. Yeah, it was a bit too team oriented there, Pete, wasn't it? Grenville kicks to a pack of players. Now the ball fisted back towards midfield. Oh, bad knock on, but it goes to Grenville in the end. Grenville kicks to centre half forward. Alessio couldn't take the mark, and Dean does the tidying up work. He gets it under Christo. Well, at the moment, it's just going between the two half-back lines. Hannah. Oh, I did that well. Well played by Mill Hannah. But uh, Hill's read it pretty well. Will he be in the court? He just gets in a hand pass. Long. Ryan O'Connor gets a shocking bounce. Simons, though, comes in to lend a hand. Michael Simons towards half-forward. Here's Hurd. Gets a poor bounce also. Could have been, look at Hurd still going on with it. Goes to ground, locks it in. And could have been pinged almost in the end by holding the ball. Yeah, that's what the Carlton players are looking for. But Hurd's recovery to know where the ball was when it bounced away from him was yeah. just rather intuitive. You can't teach players that. It's no. just something you're born with, Pete. No. His dad played for Essendon four games. And uh, his grandfather, Ellen, was a former great player and president of the club. Now, here's Gary O'Donnell. In towards the pocket, Sean Denham. He's got Sexton to beat, and Sexton's a little bit too smart and uh, just uh, allows it to tap over the line. It's about 50 metres around from the Essendon goal. Very low scoring game. Goals at a minimum. Here's Camparelli. He's got a touch of class. Oh, he's kicked into the man. Some of the kicking around the ground will be very, very ordinary. And you can't blame it all on pressure either, Ross. No, you're right. The skill level at times has been uh, just ordinary. Salmon is on the ground now for Somerville. Had a fierce end of the bench. And Clappe coming off. Bond to come on. And I would say Justin Madden to come off shortly too for Allen. And speaking of Justin Madden, he couldn't get clear. Camparelli, Gleeson, Christo, high towards centre half forward. Salmon lopes after it. Bounce has got to be a factor here. The fish has got it. Will he give a hand pass away? A little bit of a dust up behind play. <laughs> play does continue. Chris to McKay. Good tackle. Opens it up for Simons. Bond gets into his back. Umpire lets it go. Long was standing between them, so he didn't see it. Salmon across his body. Good effort by Gleeson to try to get back. Bradley does the mopping up work. And Carlton are going to run it out again. Ratton. He's been terrific. Ratton. Mill won't fall over here. O'Connor's got him though, just the same. 
Blues, now a chance. Camparelli, long shot at goal, hit the post! <laughs> tell you what, they had it all sporting sitting out as Madness coming off after the blood nose, but I think he would have been coming off anyway, but the all sporting was out on his own for what seemed like 10 minutes, they didn't see him. Yeah, on the other side, yes, yes. if they hooked it back, yes. it was maybe a certain goal. So, Carlton first score for the quarter, that behind, it's been all Essendon, but they haven't kicked enough goals for the amount of play that they've had. A beautiful kick in by Fletcher, went about 65 metres, no mark to Hills, and push. a free kick to yes. Bradley here for a push. So it would be pretty ironic if Carlton now races it down and get a goal. It'd be pretty quiet, Bradley, five and three. Very quiet, Craig Bradley. But he can also cut you to pieces in uh, five minutes, so he's played and has to be watched all day. Five and three. Five kicks, three handballs, but nothing happening for them up forward. Here's the kick, though, now. That's better. Someone has made a decisive lead, Fraser Brown, it is, and he's marked 45 metres from goal, 45-degree angle. So Fraser Brown, it's the curly mop top, 11 kicks and 10 handballs. He's been a good player, Ross. Yes, he lifted after about the first 15 minutes of the game. Well, the Blues could do with this one, but goals have been difficult to score. A swirling breeze here at the MCG. Fraser Brown lines up. There's the drop punt across the face. Salmon flies. It's still in with Cook. Good play by Cook. Bond has a shot and he hits the post. Big roar from the crowd as Carlton desperately trying to get a goal. They trail by six points as we see David Parkin and that's Sergio Silvani there on his right and Steve Kernahan on the uh, left. Well, what a game. Posters, low scores, some poor kicking, but the score is close. Oh, well, look at that mammoth roost. O'Connor, outnumbered two Carlton players are there, Sporting and he's got him. But Sporting breaks the tackle, well played, the big Earl. Earl from left centre wing. Looks for Pierce. Uh, Pierce, not Pierce, it was uh, Cook. O'Donnell. Quick hand pass away, Simons. And Wanganeen. Bandler medalist. Low down to the big fish. Oh, not Unfortunately, a, a bad turnover. This has gone on all day. Straight to Ange Christo. But he did read it very well, uh, Christo. <laughs> Allen the target. Hannah is there as well. Simons. Michael Long. Let's see if he can run. Oh, look at him go! On the accelerator. Lovely Shepard. Long kick by Long. Into the goal square, deserved better. Off the hands of the pack and punched out of bounds. Well, I think they won a premiership through that style of play. Yeah. Did he try to put it on him, Pete? Actually, it was a funny one off the boot, yeah. wasn't it? Didn't it didn't come like a drop punt. So forward pocket for the Bombers. The last thing would be Carlton and Wanderers a goal here to Essendon. Herds are loitering around there. Dean out here to Whitehead. Whitehead cleverly done. Free kick, Whitehead. He handballed it away. No, they're paying the advantage. The free kick was there. Silvani goes wide and finds Bond. So, Bond way out here. Troy Bond, centre wing, looking for Rice. Oh, almost a one-handed Free mark. kick, push, And a free kick from pushing the back against Damien Hardwick. So, Rice having a pretty good quarter. Dean Rice in towards 4 for Cook. Oh, he's flown high. Comes to Ratton, who's been outstanding. Looks for Hannah. Will it sit for him? He gets a poor bounce. Hills has got it. Oh, he drops the ball. No one had him, though. He just put it straight down on the ground. It was like a red-hot potato. There. Well, he put himself into trouble, Hills, there, Peaks. He went back into the traffic rather than coming out to the flank where he had players free. He turned back into the, uh, the busy area and got caught. In the bottom line, he was too slow. Fletcher. Masidi. Oh, no one there. Straight for the boundary line. Will he find it? Yes, he does. Right on 50. It's out of bounds. Under three minutes left in the third quarter. Neither side this term able to get that decisive break. They will level at half-time. Currently, Essendon, who have dominated the term, leading by six points. Dominated the term in general play. Certainly not on the scoreboard. Ryan O'Connor, pinched by Brown. No, it's still underneath. It's an old-fashioned, oh. uh, it's an old-fashioned slog, isn't it? You know, <laughs> it's, it's a, a slog, all right. Behind the back, well, they both have got good defences, though. Ryan O'Connor, number 41. Crowd finding some voice. 
nice little uh, attempt there by Mark McCurry. He didn't really want to get boot to ball because he probably would have kicked it out of bounds. Yes, and Kevin Shirty's moved uh, Joe Masidi onto Fraser Brown and he's moved Wanganeen therefore down the forward line now being picked up by Christo. O'Connor and Spalding. Oh, that gets an effective punch. Spalding to Camparelli. Out in front of goal. Rice a chance. Gets spooned up by Cook. Rice onto the left foot. Goes at goal. Well, they finally manufactured something out of that, out of the real congested area. A good effort by Cook, Spalding in the front here. Tapped on again. Now watch Cook's effort to come at the footy. He just got it up beautifully, nice and clean ball handling. And Rice, he's pretty happy with that, so he should be. Scores a level with the MCG. Bomber Thompson back on the ground. Terrific play by James Cook to scoop that up, that hand pass, and give it to Rice. Oh, Cooter Finney's has fallen. I wonder what sort of stops he's got. Long receives. Off he goes, Michael Long. Boots it in the wood, full forward. But look at Peter Dean. Oh, he's dropped the center. He read, he read it well. This will be a goal. Alessio off the ground. Bad mistake, Carlton. I can't believe Peter Dean to drop a chess mark. Well, the goal they just got before to Rice Pete was their first one since the seven minute mark of the second quarter. Well, from here it looked a pretty ordinary effort for a chess mark, Pete. We won't see that again, unfortunately. There's the congestion, the ball coming out. Heard shuffling at forward, and Alessio kicks his third. So, two quick goals, and the game comes to life again. Three to Alessio. Close to three quarter time, we've got under two minutes. And again, the difference is out to six points in Essendon's favour. Bomber Thompson has it pinched away. Sexton. Well, Bomber Thompson's back on the ground for Sean Denham. 50, 50 metres. 50. Fletcher bringing right up towards midfield. Cook coming back on the mark. Just decent 50. Well, he was a bit stiff, actually. He thought Fletcher was going to play on, so True he just enough. went a little bit wide on the mark. Yeah. The umpire pinned him for 50. Dustin Fletcher, that's a good kick. Unless he had the target. Whitehead gets back quickly. Goes for the boundary line and finds it. In Essendon's left forward pocket, a goal here before three-quarter time in the context of this match would be more than handy. Whitehead, the job on Buick. He's done a pretty good job. 35 metres from goal. Alessio and Allen. Alessio to Buick. And it's sandwiched under both of them there. And there will be a bounce. Minute 14 left. As the clock ticks down. One goal in Essendon's favour. It was level at half time. Six points in Carlton's favour at quarter time when they got a goal right on the quarter time siren. Ball out towards 50. Three Carlton players are there. Camparelli gives it to Dean. He'd be very keen to make amends for what happened before when Alessio got that goal. Rice! Or spring on the legs. Hardwick comes away with the football and gets nearly KO'd for his efforts. Back it comes to Masidi. Masidi from a standing start. Long. Well, it bounce for him. It does. Centering kick by him. Beautiful skills. On to McCurry. 48 metres out. Goes it. Goal. And has missed. Is that better? Fourth, play? Four behinds. Kick by Mark McCurry. She what a vital kick that was. 32 seconds to go till three-quarter time in a cliffhanger here at the MCG. Not a lot of scoring, but plenty of excitement as Silvani brings it to half back. Whitehead. Gleason, have they got time? Kudafidis. Gleason again. They've got 16 seconds to race it down the forward line. Simons flies at the back with that uh, one glove. Grabbed by Hurd. Here's Alessio. <laughs> what can the Bombers do? Alessio around the corner and puts it over the line and out on the full. And Simons has hurt himself. Cramp, I think, is it? He's just got a bit of cramp, I believe. Siren due to go. In fact, there it is. The three-quarter time. A real low-scoring affair, this one. 4-7 at half-time apiece. And Essendon probably had 65% of the play in that quarter.
taking up their positions for the start of the final term. The Bombers leading by seven points as we begin the last quarter. It's been little between these two sides all day. Madden and Salmon. Bradley needs to lift. Hand passes to Camparelli. Two fumbles. Still a clean disposal. Camparelli, long right footer into the 10 metre square and it rolls through for a minor score to make the difference. Oh, oh fight. Oh, wow. Ola Renshaw and Camparelli. And who's the other Carlton player there? It's Ratton. And still they go. They're one behind. Let's see what happened. Uh, see how it started. Hmm. The kick out comes to Fletcher. Ola Renshaw, how did he get clear? Looking Ola Renshaw. Short of left half back flank. A goal the difference now at the MCG. Huge crowd in attendance today. Kick drops a little bit short. Bradley, McKay. Still he goes McKay. Only to see Dustin Fletcher on the end of a missed kick. And there have been plenty of those today. A lot of turnovers. Cockatoo Collins. Hasn't been outstanding. Hasn't had that many opportunities though, to be fair. Grenvold. Grenvold marking at midfield. Decides to play on. Oh, he didn't hear the player coming up behind him. Kudafidis. Puts Carlton back into attack. Typical of the mistakes that have been made in this match today. And Hannah takes the mark at left half forward. Mill Hannah, 70 metres from goal. Now Cook's gone back. He's on the lead now. Oh, they've kicked it high. And no one back there for cut. That is absolutely pathetic forward play by Carlton. Ola Renshaw races away. A marked uncontested. We've seen that time and time again on this. Pretty the unintelligent line. play, but isn't it? I oh, know, that is just utter waste. Here's Bradley. Now they're a chance to lose. Bradley with a check side kick. A great attempt. Was it touched? Well, this might be a goal to Bradley. Yes! Essendon player thought he touched it. Scores a level. What a great kick by Bradley, though. It's the second time he's kicked one like that this season. It's fantastic. Just back to himself. And that's the sort of lifter that they were looking for. And obviously David Parker wanting him to provide. And he was touching. Oh, gee, he's done that. Well, he got a glove on it. If he did, might have needed two gloves just to get that extra grip. <laughs> <laughs> so scores again level here at the MCG in a thriller. Knocked down by Salmon, albeit not very far. Ratton applies a tackle. Bradley again, up towards Bond, Simons, well, they gave him a, giving him a little bit of a nudge in the back, Masiti to Brown, Spalding on the end of it, the Blues lifting their work rate markedly, Rice, Hardwick, oh. Bond, goes at goal, oh. from behind. Oh, great hands by Rice just to tap the Blues play. in front. Troy Bond's third behind of the day. So Carlton doing all the scoring in the final quarter, 6-12 to 6-11, Carlton by a point. And remember we said in the third term that Bradley can cut to a part in five minutes. He's had a couple of quick touches. Yes. If he starts firing up... Dustin Fletcher to bring the ball back, Salmon and Madden. The two Giants out there, Fletcher goes to the outer side. Madden, or Salmon in front. At the back is Long. Good kick. Long chips it short. Oh, oh a nice bump by Gleeson. Mercury, you're in trouble, son. Flips it up. Did he throw right. it? Yeah, he threw it. Yet another turnover. And that's one step that really has stood out today. And Christo to take the free kick. Yes, yeah, and Hills is coming off and Denham to go back on. Uh, Christo, Hanna. Oh, free, free kick, kick to Essendon. Holding against Cook on uh, Fletcher. And James Cook's just got to get that out of his game. Some of those... So costly, quit, isn't it? Well, the players are battling their insides out. They get it down to full four. They don't want to see an easy turnover. As we see uh, Sean Denham go forward. Well, oh, Michael Sexton, well played. He read that well. He gave support to Silvani. Uh, Sexton, he can chip it in short or kick long. He goes the long option. Here's Spalding sitting. Oh, good mark. Well, Spalding's too tall for O'Connor. Played a fair game, uh, Spalding. Oh, an ordinary kick again, though, and straight to an Essendon player in Wanganeen. 
They are mucking around with a Carlton on that forward line. So, Wanganeen, nice kick. Simons couldn't mark. Umpire calling play on. Here's O'Connor, handball, then tried to get a free kick, but the Carlton player didn't grab him. A lot of pace shown by Bond. Cleverly played by Bond. Brings it back where Dean Rice will fly to the back of Hardwick. Hardwick couldn't hang on to it. Well played by Rice. On to Gleeson. He was bumped off the ball. The Essendon players combined. Masidi gets it to Hardwick. He's caught. Loses the ball in the tackle. Spalding working overtime down here with Grenvold. And Grenvold takes it over the line. Oh. It's not pretty to watch, but... Well, players <laughs> putting themselves under pressure because some of the fumbling that's gone on. It is. It's quite remarkable how many mistakes they have made. Madden punches. Long on the end of it. Wanganeen. Well, oh. Obviously waste of disposal. That's the real up and under job, but it's effective. Oh. Fletcher's kick to half forward. At the back pocket to Collins. Buick backs himself into the pack. Whitehead reeled without the ball. <laughs> and the umpire will bounce it. See, we've seen a lot of that uh, uh, gang tackling, haven't we? Today? Tackling has been a feature of the play, Pete, yes. And a lot of it's been very, very good. So Essendon, a chance up forward. Haven't had too many so far in the final quarter. Gleeson takes it away from them, momentarily at least, up towards centre wing. Bounce, certainly a factor. Salmon, and his comeback game. Heard. Been fairly quiet of late. He's certainly been their best forward by the length of the Flemington straight. Madden. Having said that, let me say that Steve Alessio has kicked three goals. Back to Dean. Peter Dean to Whitehead. Whitehead marking out a pose, short of half back, no one on the mark. Buick finally gets there, gets it to Ratton, who's been terrific today. Ratton from half back. Now Simons and Camparelli. Camparelli throwing it in front of him. Could have been penalised for holding the ball. Now on the bomb. in front of Fletcher. That's better, he's let out. Yeah, it's a bit of a chance to atone for a couple of poor mistakes he's made earlier. Cook getting the water on the the hands to rinse down the rosin. You see that quite a bit with him. Might be a candidate for wearing gloves, would eliminate both. 45 out. Oh, it's a goal. This third. Biggest break Carlton's had. 7-12 to 6-11. Seven points. Good work here by Camparelli too. Just worked very hard and Bond's kick. He's lifted as well. He, I think he got a bit of a dressing down at three-quarter time from David Parkin. He's sending, that's a very good kick from Cook from that area. So we're back in the centre. Seven points the Blues lead by, and they've started this final quarter looking very good. Bradley, they go forward again, the Blues. Dean Rice, punched away by Hardwick. Here's Gleeson. Oh, free kick to Gleeson. No, play on. Oh, did he pay the advantage then to have. Cook? Oh, that's not an advantage at all. As we see Hannah having a bounce. Mill Hannah. Handballs to Rice. Dean Rice from a set shot tries to pull it back, but only kicks are behind. Did he play the free kick? Well, I'm not sure about that. He seemed to bring his whistle to his mouth and then perhaps say, OK, play on. You had the advantage, but you're right, Pete. Oh, if he it played the advantage, advantage yeah. it was certainly no advantage, but still. Fletcher brings it into Joe Masidi. He's been quiet the last couple of quarters, too. So Masidi finds Ricky Ola inshore. Carlton looking the better side at the moment. So Ola Inshaw to centre wing, Chris Stewart at the back, doesn't muck around, he goes for the big fist. O'Connor lumbers after the ball and he looks tired, he's happy to see it roll over. Nearly to the halfway stage of the final quarter and Essendon don't look like getting a goal. I think that tiredness might be mirrored in a few of his teammates, Pete. Certainly the way they're playing, Brown's kick. He rang it in, probably could have got a free kick there for a high tackle. Umpire lets it go. Gleeson could make them pay. He does. The Blues on fire in the last quarter. 
Adrian Gleeson kicks his first. It's all carbon. 8.13 to 6.11. Yes, he's been a pretty good contributor, Adrian Gleeson. Always works very hard. This is one where we thought may have been a free kick to Wanganeen, but the umpire let it go. Play on nothing there in the end. Clever kick from Gleeson. He's had 12 and 6. A very important goal. Well, Carlton have lifted. They're playing great football now. 14 points they lead by. Now big Justin grabs it. Justin Madden down to half forward. No mark. The ball hits the deck. Look at the tackling of Dean Rice. And Hardy, the ball has been king. Oh, boy. A kick for goal from 40 metres to Dean Rice. And has this game turned around? Oh, you're not wrong. Hardwick says, says the up by have a look at the uh, scoreboard. Yeah, definitely. Good decision. Well, he made no attempt to definitely. handball it, did he? So Dean Rice is normally a pretty good kick. There it is. Right through the middle for a goal. Dean Rice has kicked his second. And all of a sudden, Carlton lead by 20 points and Damien Hardwick saying the up by have a look at the big scoreboard, the replay. Not much point in doing that. He's not going to change his decision, well, he, is he? He's, he made no attempt whatsoever. He just hugged it in here. He's probably going to argue he couldn't get out, but he really made no attempt whatsoever to get rid of it. Now Essendon hitting for their first defeat of the year. Carlton looks set to remain undefeated. Michael Long. It'll give to Buick. Back to Long. They need something to happen quickly, Essendon. Dean will punch. Alessio in front, Salmon at the back, outnumbered. Socket away from Cocker to Collins, onto Brown. Will he give it to Whitehead? No, he's gone a little bit longer to Ratton. Ratton across his body, then he hit the runner. And Madden looks after it. <laughs> One fumble, grabbed by Grenville, it's out of bounds. Well done, Big Harry. I reckon he was 100 to 1 to be able to pick that up. He looks like the Phantom of the Opera, doesn't he? With that uh, bandage across the eye, I suppose. Gets the punch away. On to Whitehead. Around McCurry. Measures the kick up towards half forward. Hand oh! it back, great back! Plays it in front. Like Gaelic football nearly. Kick lets him down. Downs took a right hand turn. Shepherd by Fletcher to Hardwick. Still he goes. Hannah's nearly got him. Quick kick by Hardwick up towards centre wing. Players both sides very tired. But Carlton certainly finishing the better. Great tackle by Buick on Camparelli. Jarred free. Alessio's kick. Salmon marks. He turns around quickly. He's got two players free. Oh, you must get around Too quickly. Late. They'll get the goal. Very young. Boy, did they need that one. Oh, young indeed. Here we go. 9.13 to 7.11, the Bombers not done yet, the difference, 14 points. Well, G. Paul Salmon, you just got around in time, you mustn't turn your back on play like that, even though you thought you were going to have a shot for goal. Just about gave time for the Carlton players to cut that off. Very young on screen, that's his first. So 14 points the margin, can the Bombers fight back? They've got 10 and a half minutes in which to do it. So Justin Madden versus Peter Somerville. Somerville won it, but taken by Fraser. Oh, great smother by Buick. Well played, Darren Buick. Then he was grabbed. Young to Ola Renshaw. He's going on with it. Ricky Ola Renshaw, he's trying to grab it. You've got to make an attempt to get it out. Well played, Camper Rally. And the umpire will bounce it half forward for the Bombers. They need a quick goal. It's 60 metres out from their goal. Brett Allen, Peter Keary, Rowan Soares, the umpires in a pressure situation. It was real hard slog this game. Young gets it out to Alessio. Alessio a quick kick. They need someone to take a mark, but Peter Dean is there. And this is a very good, strong, tough Carlton defence. McKay certainly missed what he should have taken could have almost been in danger yeah, there yes kick, it yes. was the umpire has played it Grenville made a great effort to get back there to make the contest initially and then he just uh, getting his, trying to get his boot to the Ooh. ball just got Mackay high 
kick has been given down to Whitehead. Down towards half forward. Hardwick oh. tried to mark at the century, but Dean beat him to it. That's Great a... mark by Peter Dean. Oh, what a mark by Dean. Running back with the flight. Oh, fantastic. Certainly lacks nothing in courage, does Peter Dean. Plenty of leads being made. Cook. Dean too far out to oh. score. Oh, and lets himself down. He's kicked it out of bounds on the full. No, almost on the full. Now that's deliberate. <laughs> He really tried to jag that in low trajectory to Spalding. Madden. Left foot into the goal square. Here's a chance for Bond if he can gather it. Mercedes wears him down and he carts the ball over the line. So Carlton's right forward pocket. Eight and three quarter minutes left in the final term. The Blues have made the break. In the context of the game, it might be hard to see Essendon catching them because Carlton's defence has been absolutely outstanding today. If Brown kicks this, it'll be difficult. A snapshot has registered only one behind. Been a good player, Fraser Brown, Ross. Yes, 14 and 12. Is that plenty of it? Gary O'Donnell to bring it back in. This game changed dramatically at the start of this final term when Bradley started to get a couple of touches and... Uh, well, they really needed Pitt, wasn't it? Yeah, they needed him to really lift. Here's a wobbly kick from Gary O'Donnell. Andrew McKay won't drop these. She's a strong overhead mark, and he showed a lot of courage to hold his ground. Yes, two former South Australians there, Grenville and McKay. Strong stuff. So McKay's been a terrific player for Carlton. It's coming across, as Ross said, from South Australia. Now, the leader's onto the pocket. Fletcher tried to flick it back to Hardwick. He got away with it too. Well played. Hardwick backs himself in. Then he chips a dollar in. So it was a poor kick. Bradley waits underneath it. Hurry kick by Bradley. An up and under kick towards the half forward line. Could have been a free kick against Hannah. Umpire didn't think so. Simons. And the umpire will probably bounce this one. He will at uh, 48 metres out from the Carlton goal. It's been all the Blues in the last quarter so far. Camparelli the last to get up the bounce in bright sunshine on the outer side. Simon's looking for a free kick. Mercedes kick into space on centre wing. Bradley, who's had an excellent last quarter. Alessio nearly pins him onto Dean. Gee, he's covering a bit of territory, Peter Dean. Christou, tempered smothered by Cockatoo. Collins ineffective. Gleeson, oh, he had his head taken off. Michael Long, Courage, onto O'Donnell. Standing start kick down to half forward. Over the head of Stephen Messio, Heard. Needs support. Goes at goal. Seven! Well, one of you was going at goal, but I think you're right there. But given the benefit, it was a good pass. Well, the end result might be just what Essendon need. Let's see. Well, oh, maybe not. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, Ross. Yes. Not brilliant stats for the fish, but of course, as I mentioned earlier, has spent a fair time on the bench. 15 metres out, directly in front, doesn't miss these, and has it. Seven goals. His first for the day, and a valuable one for Essendon, the difference back to nine points. Well, that's exactly right too, but it's... Sean Denham is back on the ground. I think so he came off. It looks as if Alessio wasn't going to get to this, and in the end he didn't have to, because Heard trying to do something special to lift. He's been pretty well held in the second half by... Silvani, pretty even contest there after dominating early. But a critical goal to Samuel. Well, the Bombers never lie down. They always fight the games right out and they're clawing their way back in. They're only nine points down. Let's see if they can go again. It's Joe Mercedi. Out wide. Camparelli. Plenty of pace. Hand pass over the top. Find Bradley getting plenty of touches now. Bradley in towards half forward, good mark to Spalding, off he goes. Oh, well, he's got himself into trouble, he looks for Kudafides. Back it comes to Ratton, he's been outstanding. On to Spalding, a hand pass inside to Rice. Back to Spalding, good play by the big fella. He brings it back in front of goal, and it's a mark to Bond. 15 metres out directly in front, look at the grin on his face as he gets up. Well, he'd want to kick the goal first. And Porter's coming back to Earl Spalding, all his teammates going to him to say well done which it was, teamed well here. And Bond wanted front Posse. Oh, he might have missed this, Bond. He's missed it. 
as you said, Ross. Well, said you as you said, Ross. You don't wait for your kick it before you start smiling. And uh, exactly right. Well, maybe that has let the bombers off the hook a little bit because that would have made it very difficult. He's not made. happy. Almost impossible, I think. Ten points the difference. Essendon needs two goals. Over five minutes left in which to get them. A tall order. McKay, oh. nearly the mark. Mercury, Ola Renshaw, back to that same player, Long, with speed, out of the centre, Salmon, got a little bit of a nudge from Sexton, not enough for a free kick. And rushed through a touch by, yeah. by Steve Silvani. Won't make much difference, they still need two goals. Three rush behinds to Essendon, nine points the difference. Kick out comes to Whitehead, standing on his own at the 50 metre line. He gets on his bike pretty quickly, hand passes inboard to Gleeson. Barry Young gives chase, won't catch him. Kick up towards uh, centre wing, looking for the free kick with Spalding. Umpire didn't play it. McKay or oh, Hardwick. Gee, nothing in that. It's coming, back. It coming back. He does get the free kick. Young couldn't take the mark. Good spoil by Crystal. Masiti, nice flipping. Back to Young. Ryan O'Connor, too far out the score, booming drop punt. Oh, Lassio! What a ripper! And his name written all over that. Oh, sensational grab. It's been pretty important, hasn't he, taking those marks, looking at his fourth goal now. Well, I took one in the second quarter, it was uh, as good as this, but floated in beautifully, didn't he? Uh, and his name written all over it from the time it left the boot of uh, O'Connor. Special guest on our Four Quarters program last night. Let's see what he can do with this. Distance won't be a problem for him. He kicks and goals. There's a kick in it. And that height peak proving uh, to be advantageous at the moment with Alessio. The rain not coming as it may have come, and the tall side of Essen just helping out at the moment. Great mark, too. Read it beautifully. Dean had the sit but couldn't get there. Just knock it through. Carlton by three points as Grenvold. Oh, desperation, David Grenvold. Well played. McCurry races in after it. So does Fraser Brown. And we've got just under four minutes of play left, and just when we thought that kick of Bond so might be very, very important in the uh, context exactly. of this game, particularly if Essendon get the next uh, goal, smothered beautifully there as uh, McCurry went to handball, and it'll be another bounce. Certainly suiting the Blues, this, isn't it? Well, they'll only lead by three points when they were looking as though they were about to run away with the game, but Essendon never, ever died. There's O'Connor, might have been held. Umpire couldn't quite see it. And it'll be another bounce. It's just umpire's on the blind side then. Just now we saw the push in the face by McKay. There it is. Yeah, you can fend off in the chest, but not the face. So umpire dead right this. Comes to ground. Sullivan. Uh... Here's Kudafidis. Kicking it to the wide open spaces. Who's got the pace? Denham and Bond. They're both pretty quick players. It's kicked to the off the ground over the line to the far side of the ground. Still on the half forward area for the Blues. Under three minutes left in the match. So it's still there for the taking. If Essendon is good enough, Carlton defence though has been pretty good all day. Madden, Masiti, Gleeson. That's the a throw, throw says yes. the umpire. Yeah. Gee. Well, it's umpire Rowan Sawyers. McCurry on his own, Mercedes didn't see him. Ah, uh, Silvani, good use of the body overheard. Bradley, acting captain, telling him where to kick it. He says go short, which he does, Gleeson on his own. Carton finishing the better now. A goal here would seal it for the Blues, sporting the target. Wanganin nearly comes down with it. Hardwick gives chase to the boundary line with Rice. He'll take him over if he can, and does. Over the shoulder, Pete, free kick. Free kick. He made sure the umpire saw it too, didn't he? Hardwick with the free kick at left half back. The clock ticks down over two minutes. Let's watch it again. Yeah, over the yeah, shoulder. Good decision. Definitely, definitely too high. Hardwick to centre wing Alessio. Couldn't mark. Barry Young. He's staging for the free kick. Tries to get in a hamper. Peter Dean thumps it back. 
Fraser Brown is there with Joe Mercedi and again the ball rolls over the line for a throw in. So it's right on centre wing. Look at uh, David Parkin and Sergio Silvani. As I've said many times before, who'd want to be a coach in this situation? Madden, uh, there's that one that a lot of people talk about where the Ruckman just tops it back to the line to hold up a, and waste a little bit of time. But he got away with it. Madden versus the lesser. See if he'll go. No, he's not going to look. Good play by Big Justin. Brings it forward to Dean Rice. No mark. Still going. Oh, Rice with courage. Tremendous play by Rice. Here's Hardwick. Desperation by all the players. McCurry to O'Donnell. He's lost it. Gleeson. Races in the goal. Adrian Gleeson's put it through. And with the ball game. Gleeson kicking his second. Crowd of 73,753. They've seen another thrill between Essendon and Carlton. Great desperation by the Essendon players here, and Gary O'Donnell just losing sight of numbers there. Ball going straight to Gleeson, and Gleeson the made them pay. And as soon as that goal went through, all the Essendon players in near that action just dropped their heads. Makes it very tough for them. 172 career goals to Adrian Gleeson in 170 matches. Some of them off the ground. Long is hurt. Long is hurt. He's down. He's holding his knee. So that is bad news for the Bombers. O'Connor. Hardwick. Close to the boundary line. Gets the bounce that he wants. Clock ticks down. Less than a minute now. As Hardwick still he goes. Good effort, son. Get the hand pass away. He does. Masidi charges at it. Pass Kudafidis. Kicks it back up towards the centre wing position. No mark taken. Gleeson again, who kicked that previous goal and gave the Blues just that little bit of breathing space. Rice slaps it back. Some of them in the road. Lopes across the half-back line. Nothing on offer for him. Finally kicks it up towards O'Donnell. What can they do, the Bombers? They've got 25 seconds. Here's Silvani at the back. The Bombers a chance. Salmon around the corner. They need a mark to Simons. He can't do so. He's got two to beat. And Peter Dean dives. Free kick. Helps a free kick way. to Simons. Oh, free kick. For holding on. Well, I think they might run out of time anyway. He's got to kick the goal here. Michael Simons from the boundary line. No, he's bringing it across with a short one. He found Barry Oh, oh he gets flattened by that. Might be a bit. There's the siren. There's the siren, the Blues have won, but Barry Young will have a shot for goal after the siren. Let's look at the mark again. Yeah, it's pretty untidy by Rattens. Ooh, well, you saw. Barry Young, it won't make any difference to the result, but on the overall wash-up of percentage at the end of the year, it could. 42 career goals, he's kicked Barry Young. And what's he done with it? One behind. So one behind, right in the final siren, kicked by Barry Young. Carlton have won the match. Still undefeated. Let's go down to Dipper. Thanks very much, uh, Peter. Well, a, a really old-fashioned type of game. Yeah, it certainly was. It was a fantastic effort by both sides, you know. There's a lot riding on it, and, uh, you know, it's good to come through with the four points. Now, the odds were against you today with uh, some of the big names out of the side. Yeah, I think we uh, rallied behind that, you know, to show we are a good side. You know, the two great players, the three great players that are out, and just fantastic, the boys rallied. And now, you've been around a long, long time, yeah. but you're getting better every week. Uh, yeah, I think we are. We're playing well as a team. You know, we've been a little bit more even this year, and I think we're spreading the workload across everyone. It's fantastic to win seven. Well done, mate. Off you go. Enjoy it.